Create and execute Windows command files. Quick sort for text files summary. This video shows how to sort a comma separated text file or CSV file using the quick sort algorithm written in Windows batch code. The video demonstrates how to export Gmail contacts to a .csv file, pre-process the file with the notepad editor, then sort the file. The next video File Sort Code Walkthrough gives a comprehensive description of the code in the Quick Sort File Sort package. This function sorts 75 records in 6.3 seconds and 700 records in 4 minutes. The sort function described in this video may not exactly fill your needs, but the walkthrough in the next video will give you many useful functions you can adapt for your own use and we'll point out some pitfalls to avoid when coding in batch. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. Clickable links related to my videos are below the video window on desktops or laptops. For mobile devices, they are shown here. My website, try either one if one of them doesn't work. My YouTube channel page, and to download the code described on the batch code videos, open this web page on my website. Locate the script for the video, then select and copy the code to one or more batch files for execution. To do that, open an empty text file for each piece of code, paste in the code, then select Save As, Save As Type All Files, then type the file name shown in the script ending in .bat. To use the program, begin by opening any browser to the Gmail page, and then select Contacts. I've done an additional step of selecting an empty contacts group that I created so that I don't disclose the email addresses of my Gmail contacts. From any of the contacts pages in Gmail, click More, select Export. Which contacts do you want to export? You can either export a group of contacts if you created one or you can select all contacts to export all the contacts in your Gmail files. Warning, exporting all contacts may lead to a problem that will be discussed later. Some of the contacts may be missing their first name and you have to fix that. I normally use the format that says Outlook CSV format because it says it's for another application. I, it might work to use G a Google, I just haven't done that. So I use Outlook and I click Export. Then confirm you're going to save the file, click OK. Now to see the file you just exported, click the down pointing arrow in the Firefox line there. Other browsers would be slightly different. But once you have it shown, if you don't have your browser filling your screen, you can drag your contacts list, your CSV file that you saved off the window for the browser onto the desktop. And I'll do that. Here's what the exported contacts list looks like. I have censored it to protect the email contacts information. See my video, How to Censor a Photo, in Playlist, How to Record Videos. And it has a few formatting problems you have to fix before you can process it with the file sorting program. The first thing is all these commas are adjacent and there's no space between them. We need at least one space between them for the batch read routines to recognize separate tokens or separate pieces of information from the file reads. So you do a simple edit instruction to convert two commas to comma space comma. You do a replace all with that change and you do it twice. And when you do that, all the commas here will have a space between them and the batch program can process the files correctly. There's one other change you have to make. It turns out that some of the address fields, at least in my contacts list, have an ampersand in them because there's two names like John and Marcia, like that. 
It turns out ampersands within the, the uh, records causes severe problems when you try to read that particular token or piece of uh, information. Just use a simple edit command to convert all ampersands to a left bracket. Just pick any letter that does not occur naturally in your contacts file. So left bracket works fine. Then you can process and sort the file with any of the fields you want even if they used to have an ampersand in them because they don't anymore. If you want to when you're finished you can reverse those editing changes you just made on your final file to make it look just like an ordinary exported contacts file. I didn't bother to do that in my demo as you will see in the output. This photo shows the edited contacts file. There is one more change you might need to make. If any records start with a comma, the first name is missing and the code will shift all data one column to the left. You must insert a single space before the comma on all lines that begin with a comma. The code used to sort the files includes these batch files. The test driver, which is really the control program for the sort, a bubble sort routine that's modified from a previous version in another video, and a quick sort routine that's also been modified from a previous video. Those sort routines have been modified to allow it to sort a text file where you read in tokens from the file to be sorted and you read in the records from the file. And also the quick sort function has been made stable which means that you can then use it to sort one column after the other and wind up with a sorted file the way you expect it to be sorted. For instance if you had a data file of cities and states and populations you might want to have them come out sorted in those categories in, in a way you expect. In addition to the actual sort routines there are other functions that are used to manipulate numbers, pad them up, and a function that determines how long the longest string in an array of strings is. The, the sort functions and the driver have been modified so that you can specify a list of the columns that the file is to be sorted on. You can set the input file very easily here. There is an output file here that will contain the sorted version of the input file. File temp.txt is used throughout to record status of a given sort and it also at the end produces a, a summary listing in the temp.txt file showing the last token that was used to sort and the final sort order of the file. And that particular listing is formatted so that the columns line up nicely. This code walkthrough will show a lot of coding techniques. It'll help you incorporate many specialized snippets into your own programs. I don't pretend to be an expert in batch coding. My technique is Google to get a fuzzy idea how to code something I need, play with the syntax, lots of echo and pause statements until I get it to work in my program. I tend to use delayed expansion many times when I don't really need it, and maybe I use call set sometimes when I just a set would work. But better to use it and not need it than not use it when you have to have it. Warning, some of the functions I use do not include a set local statement. If you use those functions, either modify them to add the set local or be very careful not to use variable names that duplicate those in the calling function. The code assumes the file to be sorted is in the same directory as the sort functions. Let's look at the, at the user modified numbers. File 1 specifies the input file, the file to be read from, to sort. File 2 specifies the output file. You can specify the same names for the input and output file to replace the original file, but that's not a great idea. The next statement here, the set tokens, lets you specify a list of the columns you want sorted in the order you want them sorted in. So it is set up now to sort the file on column 1, then column 3, then column 15. Those are the first name, the last name, and the email address of the contact. 
that sort order does not necessarily make any sense. I just want to show you that you can do multiple column sorts. A more practical use would be if you had a set of uh, geographic data, for instance, that had states, cities, and populations, possibly average incomes, and you wanted to sort those in a particular order. Header records you need to set to tell the program how many header records are in the file that need to be ignored when sorting. The, her the header records are preserved and they are present in the output file, but they do not, they are not sorted along with the records. That's why you need to specify the number of header records. The next video gives a detailed code walkthrough for this sort package. Here's a sample execution of the sort of my exported contacts file. I'm sorting columns 15, column 1, and column 3 in that order. That's not necessarily a reasonable thing to do. I just wanted to illustrate how to sort more than one column. Here is the sample output from the temp.txt file. It contains basically status information to show how the run is progressing and then the formatted listing of the record number, the token last sorted on, in this case the last name, then the entire record. Notice the header record is here, hasn't been sorted. Here is the output file sorted from the temp2.txt file. The last sort was on the last name of the contact and you can see enough of it uh, despite the censorship to tell that that's the order it's in. So the, the last names are alphabetical in this listing. Again, the, the sample run, I sorted by email contact, first name, and last name. That type of sort doesn't necessarily make any sense, but I just wanted to show you how a three column sort worked. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.